blend very well today. I apologize. Um, I haven't been wearing makeup in God knows how long, so it's almost, almost as if I've completely forgotten how to apply makeup. I tried to blend everything um, okay, but I feel like I'm going to have a chin beard uh, when I edit this. So if I do, let's just go with it. We'll try to make it a new trend. All the girls who can't do makeup very well. We're gonna have neck beards. Hey everyone, it's me, the Anti Beauty Queen, and I am here to do my January favorites. Even though it's like middle February, these are the things that I actually were obsessed with in January. So, without further ado, here is what I loved in January. All right, so for hair, you probably have seen a little bit of a difference in my hair, and today it isn't wanting to do anything that I want it to do. So that is my first that I've been loving. I cut off a lot. And the second is this stuff right here. It is Gum Salon, and it is the Keratin Tanner. Keratin? Keratin? Keratin. That's how you say it, right? Keratin 10, and it is amazing. Um, the benefits of it is, uh, there's 10 of them, obviously, and it says cream to mist formula, which it does. Uh, it helps protect against color fade, which I don't really have to worry about. I've never really, co never colored my hair in the past, like, 10 years. So, uh, reduce frizz and static, increase shine, protects against heat damage, repairs damaged hair, blah, 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 blah. The only thing I do not enjoy about this is the smell. Um, it has a very strong coconut and lime smell. I'm just not into that. I don't like that combination at all. If you do love coconut and lime, put the lime and the coconut, you will love the smell of this. I'm sorry, I just almost burped. But this truly does work. It is amazing. It leaves my hair so just soft and touchable. And the thing I do like about it too is that it maintains tangles. So if you're someone who has a lot of tangles in your hair, try this stuff out. However, I don't know where to buy this other than winners because I've never seen it in a store before. If you have, let me know in the comments below. Moving on to skincare, the number one thing that I have been obsessed with this month is the Tarte Pure Maracuja Oil. Now, I did not spring for the big one. I really wanted to test this product out first. I find that my skin gets ridiculously oily if I do ever kind of use these kind of products. So I didn't want to shell out the ridiculous amount that it is when you get the big bottle. However, saying that, I will definitely be going out and getting the big bottle as soon as this is done. But I've been using this, and I actually have been using this in December as well, and I, I don't even know if you can tell, but I've used next to nothing. And I use it every single night before bed. I roll it underneath my eyes, I roll it on my forehead, and in my little, like, laugh lines. And I've just noticed that after I use this, the next morning when I wash my face, my face is so just bright, it is like soft, it is just like I feel like I have no wrinkles, and believe it or not, I am getting to that age where I'm gonna have to start worrying about wrinkles. So I do find that that stuff is just so amazing. Um, Again, it is on the pricier side, but you're paying for what you're getting. So I have oily skin. I have no issue when I use this. In fact, when I don't use that the night before, I wake up and my face is dull. My face just doesn't look as nice and healthy and shiny and bright when I use that at night. So definitely check that product out. Now, moving on to makeup. And for Christmas, Sugar Bear bought me the Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, 12 our full coverage foundation. I have been using the Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation for I think a year now and I love it but this stuff especially in the winter it is amazing. I find that when I use the powder um, in the winter months it just cakes onto my face it doesn't look good but when I'm using the liquid foundation this stuff just glides all over I throw on my beauty blender and it makes my skin look flawless for 12 hours to the point where I have to basically scrub this off my skin if I put it on and um, I let it kind of sit in all day. I have to like take a makeup pad, then wash my face, and then go over it with some more makeup remover. It just lasts forever. And if you're someone, again, who's on YouTube or takes a lot of pictures or just does not have the time to reapply makeup, get this stuff because it works. So what I'm going to talk 
about now, I was actually going to put in my favorites for body because it is a lotion. However, the smell of it is what I love most about it. So I thought, let's just put it in the scent category because it smells unbelievable. Um, if they could just make this into a candle, into like a room spray, a car freshener, that would be fantastic because this smell is unreal. Uh, this is the Frosted Plum Body Butter from uh, ba The Body Shop. Let's can't say Bath and Body Works. No, The Body Shop. Um, I, as you can tell, am almost done with it. I have another one though sitting in my closet waiting to be pulled out because I can't get enough of this. I feel like this was a limited edition in The Body Shop and I hope that's not the case. If they do like keep it only for Christmas, I really hope they bring it back next year because I'll be buying the whole friggin' store out. It smells sweet without being overbearing. It smells fruity, again, without being overbearing. And it still has that nice little like winter scent that a lot of girls like to wear when it's the winter because I don't know if you're like me, but I really love wearing um, lotions and hair stuff and body washes that kind of coincide with the season. I think this though is definitely definitely my favorite scent for January and probably for February. Now for accessories, and I could say my wedding ring, but I won't. But I won't. It just gleams in the light. I love it. Oh my god, I want so much. This is the uh, limited edition coach purse that came out around Christmas time. I begged, I pleaded, I told Sugar Bear I would rub his hairy back for the rest of his life if he bought me this for Christmas. Um, he he did and I was very happy and I've given him maybe one two back rubs since then I know I'm a horrible wife I have wanted this bag ever since I was scoping around the old coach website and I saw it and I just it like it spoke to me it's it literally said you need to buy me, you need to wear me, you need to show me off for the world to see. Um, I'm not a big like brand person when it comes to purses or, or shoes, clothes. I will buy anything that looks good. It doesn't matter if it comes from the thrift shop, it doesn't matter if it comes from Walmart, I'll buy it. I don't care. I don't care about brands. But it wasn't the fact that this was coach this, that I wanted it. It's because the color and just the look of the purse oh, is so beautiful. It's so gorgeous. And I mean, I'm not gonna knock a coach purse. Coach is a really great brand for purses. Um, I wear a coach purse every single day that's not this, and I've been wearing it every day, using it every day, for like three years, and there's not even a scratch on it. And they are durable, they're long lasting, they are really meant for girls who are hard on their purses. I am, um, but I will be treating this one with baby gloves. Nice little baby gloves. Uh, I just love it so much. And I think color purple looks good with a lot of stuff I wear, and, um, this, it just reminds me of a mermaid. It reminds me of Ariel being on my body. And that sounds really weird. Um, but no, it truly does. And if you want to see, I have nothing in it right now. I think I think I have a tube of lipstick because I wore this on uh, Valentine's Day. Um, but it has this like neat little like little clasp thing. So if you want to hide some stuff that you don't want anyone to snoop through, you can put it in this compartment and then it locks right up. Nothing to hide. Maybe some tampons, that's about it. Um, and then it has this big pocket as well, which the amount of room and space that this purse has, fantastic. But again, it only has a tube of lipstick in it because I have nothing important to bring but this purse. So this is my favorite part of the video. This is who I get to brag about, who I get to know on the YouTubes or the Instagrams, and who I want you to know as well. Now, this person I have talked about before, and she isn't on YouTube, but she is on Instagram, and I truly, truly, truly just want everyone to go on over and check out her page because she is such an inspiration. Now, I'm hopeful that she won't mind me sharing her information here. Um, I don't think she'll mind because I feel like she's got a lot to show and a lot to say to anyone who is struggling with their weight, anyone 
someone who's trying to lose weight. I mean, this girl, she is just someone who I look up to, who I admire, who I want to be like because I, she's blown me away. Now, her name is Casey Cook, but her Instagram name is Casey Does Cato. I'm going to put it here on the boobies right here because I feel like I'm butchering the name. I hopefully am not. Um, she has lost 100 pounds naturally. The good old fashioned way of eating right, exercising, drinking a shit ton of water. Um, and she has just been someone who I have followed creepily. Like I, I creep the shit out of her Instagram page because I try to educate myself with the things that she's doing to lose the weight. And she looks amazing. I mean, she was beautiful before she lost the weight, but she is a friggin' knockout now. And she does these like transformation po photos because she puts her face before she lost the weight next to her face now. And it's just insane how much she just has changed in her looks. And it's just, <sighs> I could talk about her all day. You need to go check her out. You need to go and just send her all your love and just keep on encouraging her, especially if you are someone who is on the track and knows how hard it can be. I mean, she's been doing it and she's been friggin' kicking ass. So go check her out, Casey Cook. Casey does Kato on Instagram. All right, that is it. I feel like this video has gone on way too long and Albie is behind this door scratching and crying and being a pest because he wants me to go show him all the love and cuddles that I could possibly give him. So I'm going to end this video now. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, do what you need to do. Comment below on what you've been up to lately and comment on what you've been reading and watching and maybe I can go check those out as well. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll catch you on the flippy flop. Bye.